uh, face to face. And today we're gonna we're gonna be in New York. We're gonna talk about New York Ave with Nuriel. Nuriel, welcome to Face to Face. Thank you for having and me. And Nuriel is very special because he helped behind the scene on almost every show we do. So it's it's a really a pleasure to have you. And thank you so much for all your help during uh, during the recording. So you are a New Yorker, and I am. And you have been in New York forever? Uh, 13 years. Yeah. And then you uh, do editing and then you do a video here I at Eminem? Yeah, I do. I'm an artist of sorts, okay. actually, which prompted me to move here in New York City years ago. Um, I'm an actor, writer, producer, work here in TV production, um, stage, film actor. Um, Spoken word artist, I paint, I draw, do play instruments, just pretty much multidisciplinary artist. And how the, the process, how did you come to, to become an artist? How do you, how, what was? In terms of that, in terms of acting, um, I've always wanted to be in the acting field. Um, I've done, you know, like school plays um, in high school and whatnot. Um, but I wanted to do it professionally, I would say, mm, that would have to be like in 2002, about 2002, I started. I was in Baltimore, Maryland at the time, uh -huh. and I auditioned, I went on an audition for a, like a, uh, like a webisode um, type of thing, but it was more so, um, it was on it. It was supposed to be for internet, but also for TV, for okay. like public access TV. Okay. For okay. it was like it was a soap opera, uh -huh. for a uh, soap opera, and um, I got on. And then they, from there, I oh great, auditions from other stuff. Uh -huh. and then I decided to move to New York, uh -huh. and just got into the acting thing, film wow. on film. Congratulations! Yeah, I didn't start stage acting until two thousand and eight. Uh -huh. I got on stage. Because Baltimore was, it's not easy to, to get out of Baltimore, no? Because it's, it's complicated. Well, Baltimore is not, uh, well, I don't know what it is now, yeah. but uh, in terms of work and all that, it's very, very far in between to get work there uh -huh. in Baltimore because it's not really a, a big, like, acting town uh -huh. at the time mm -hmm. I was there. Mm -hmm. but, um, but I pretty much stayed with the spoken word. You know, I, I did a lot of spoken word right. there. Yeah. Um, for, at open mics mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and then you moved to New York because of this? Uh, yeah, I moved to New York to... To shine. To to be the, live the artist life, exactly. pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> you know, to act, to, you know, do spoken word and, and whatnot. It's great. There's a lot yeah. of places in New York, no? Yeah, a lot Where of opportunity. Can, uh, can, yeah, a lot uh, of spaces to express. For, for uh, spoken word, for uh, comedy, for acting. Acting, singing, singing. Uh, even um, art in terms of the um, visual art, mm -hmm. you know, painting and all that. So mm -hmm. I, I do that as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have exhibition or you? Uh, I, I've done a few exhibitions here, uh -huh. um, but not recently. Yeah. I think the last exhibition I did um, was about three years ago. Okay. And uh, they were showing um, some of my work. Um, they showed some of my work actually in a Port Authority. Yeah, three years ago. Yeah, oh, Port Authority. Great. Yeah, uh -huh. I had some work there uh, for three months. An, it was an exhibition organized by the Port Authority or by the. Um, it was organized by. I was connected with the school and the organization, oh, I see. and they asked for alumni to. Oh, this is great idea. To display their work. And so my, yeah. Millions of people who are passing. Yeah, every, every. I was in the when you come in the back part from Ninth Avenue, and they had the space really? there. To, and I had my work there for about oh, three months. Wow, there. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Most of my art uh, paintings uh -huh. are uh, abstracts. Yeah? Ab so I'm more of an abstract painter. You're I'm not too, I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't too much do composition no? work. Well, um, but I've, I, I've done a self portrait, a couple of self portraits okay. I've mm -hmm. done. But um, my abstract work is more of. Uh, I'm I'm very spiritual and intuitive in nature, so I just go with the flow of the of, of the of the of the piece. Uh -huh. So the piece will tell me what to do in okay. in essence. Okay. Um, like I have uh, one piece that looks like a 
bubbles or circles. And <clears throat> in that particular uh, painting, um, I just started with, I just painted a circle in the middle of the, of the paper. Uh, it it's, yeah, it's on, yeah. It's, it's on paper, uh -huh. um, this particular piece. And I just started doing circles in different colors and it just actually built. Uh -huh. And so that's one of my pieces. Actually, though, that's one piece I'm working to do, uh, turn into a fabric oh, I see. project uh -huh. and um, develop later into some fashion apparel from yeah, that. Yeah. Um, there's another piece. Um, it's actually, I would say one of my favorite pieces. Mm -hmm. um, it's more ancestral mm -hmm. to me. It, it, it's more ancestral. Again, it started with um, one stroke and a stroke of a, tr like a triangle in essence. Um, and then from there I just built, it's a building, I built in layers and things like that. So that speaks of, to me, I call it my ancestors. It's very ancestral to me. Uh -huh. uh, there's another piece, so a lot of people um, enjoy the piece when they come to my home. Um, these paintings are in my home, mm -hmm. hanging actually. And they come into my house, and this is another piece where um, it. I started out with drawing um, three lines in the middle, painting three lines, uh -huh. and then have X's going in it. And um, it's a very interesting it's piece. Yeah, I want to. Yeah? yeah, I want to. I, I sit there. Actually, I sit at home looking uh -huh. at the piece, wanting to recreate it. Uh -huh. Um, because I have some more ideas for mm -hmm. it, how mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. work with it again, it, expand yeah. it, yeah, expand it, uh -huh. but I'm trying to figure out how I actually did the piece. Uh -huh. So um, so I love to paint. Um, when I paint, it's very meditative, mm -hmm. um, and and it's very relaxing, so it calms me. It's I good paint. because in New York, we need some time too. <laughs> yeah, you need to get away from all that <laughs> exactly. hustle and bustle of New York life. So Absolutely. that... Um, painting, sitting to be still, actually, it, you know, it makes you, you know, be still and be present and to put your mind on something else other than work or trying to pay bills or, or this and that, you know, to Perfect. help, you know. And so what are you working on now? What What is your... Um... Oh, wow. Um, I'm yeah. an Aries. That's my astrological sign. So I'm everywhere. Okay. Um, right now, my um, focus is... Um, I'm working on developing my uh, paintings mm -hmm. into fabric pieces to become fashion apparel. Ah, this is good. So I'm, um, I'm working on some samples um, for my paintings and to turn them into fabric. Uh -huh. That's one thing. Also to um, use my paintings and uh, home decor for pillows, for shower curtains, uh -huh. for lampshades, for rugs, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. for bed sheets and whatnot. So that's one thing, oh, one, that's of, the, one of the many uh -huh. things. Uh -huh. um, I'm still working on a, um, my poetry book, po book of poetry, my collection oh, yeah? of my poetry and put them in a the book form. Uh -huh. So that's one thing, another thing. Did no. you have any poem with you? No. I wish. <laughs> Man, if you had told me, I would have <laughs> shared some next it's time. Okay, but yeah, okay. yeah, next, next time. time we do a yeah. poetry. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. yeah fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, I have some good pieces okay. to share. Okay, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. And then what else? Um, outside of that, um, I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So I focus a lot on my, um, my business, loan okay. brokering business. I help small businesses to get capital. Oh, for great. their business. Okay. So that's what I. Uh -huh. That's what you do. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You can make a living from that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. Yes. Oh great, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So anything you want to plug and you want to people know about it, they can. Ah uh, well. How they can reach you. Anybody that's a small business owner, entrep yeah. entrepreneur, mm -hmm. um, I can help you get some capital mm -hmm. for your business. Mm -hmm. um, if you've been in business four months or more, I can help you. If you if your revenue is a hundred thousand uh, dollars a year or more, I can help you. Even mm -hmm. if your credit score is mm -hmm. as low as five hundred, <laughs> um, I can work 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 with you and okay. see what we can do. Um, in terms of reaching me, you can uh, reach me um, at my work email. My email is uh, Nuriel at theallencapital.com. That's N-U-R-I-E-L at D-A-L-L-E-N-C-A-P-I-T-A-L.com. 
and also you can um, reach me um, if you wanted to collaborate anything um, artistic wise. I'm available for that spoken word. Um, TV production work. Yeah, and, and so you have, you have a website for your art and uh, your where no, you, not you can yet. see. No, okay, not, not yet. Right. But uh, you can you can you know reach me on IG. Okay, Neil, thank you so much for uh, for coming and thank you for all your help. You're welcome. Thank you. And that was face to face. And please keep watching your news on Presenza.com. And uh, hope to see you very soon. Thank you. <laughs>